Hi, I'm selling my 2013 Volvo XC60 and this is a full tour of the vehicle. I always do videos, I'm used to it, I'm, I sell um, used motorcycles so I like to give a full tour of those as well. But I thought I'd show you around the XC60, uh, it gives you a much better idea, you know, an honest view. You can't hide things in films. Um, so I wanted to give you a full tour of the vehicle. As you can see, the paintwork's in good condition. It's a little bit darker now, um, so it does hide a few of the imperfections, but the paintwork's not perfect. You know, there are little bits and bobs here and there, but um, overall it's in really nice condition. There's only one slight ding on the panel is there, but you can barely see it. It's you can just see it now, but um, it's in the paintwork's lovely, deep, sort of rich metallic black. Coming around to the back, there's no dings or dents or scuffs on the rear um, at all. It's not being sort of reversed into anything. It's not got any scuffs on the corners, which is quite unusual actually for cars, especially 2013. So as you can see. See, this is the Polestar version as well, Polestar Tune, our uh, design. No dents on this side. Again, really rich, deep paintwork. The yard uh, design comes with these silver valances at the bottom. I'll throw these prancing moose badges in for free. <laughs> yeah, if you're a Volvo owner and you're into Volvos, everyone gets those. There's no marks underneath, you can peel them off if you want. I'd use a heat gun, but um, yeah, the light's going a bit, so sorry if the filming's a little bit fuzzy. This has got everything on, so it's got the radar detection up front for the adaptive cruise control. It's got the city, city safe, or whatever they call it there, as you can see on the screen. Um, the air design comes with sort of the, this silver, um, I think it's satin silver. Uh, on various areas uh, such as the wing mirror caps there's no marks on these at all there's no scuffs or chips on them you get the silver roof rails as well no heavy stone chips on the bonnet uh, tiny ones I've just had it washed so it's got a few watermarks here and there um, the lights have got no chips or anything in them they're not faded or anything like that um, slight, very slight mark here unfortunately where some moron has backed into it with a tow bar I reckon um, they've done that while well. I've owned the car and obviously they've just not left the details but it's barely noticeable you know tiny little bit really it's got the front part of the winter pack it's got the front washers on as well everything works um, I've actually put uh, Pirelli Scorpion winter tyres on here, loads of grip, the backs of Pirelli Scorpion all season tyres, probably around 80% wear left, there's plenty on those. This comes with the larger exhaust tips as well, this is a our design feature, show you the other tyre as well. I have actually got a spare one which has got 80% tread left, I will put that with the car. Um, so if you ever had a bunch here you've at least got a spare one. Um, it's got the black dope windows from the factory standard, uh, well optioned. Um, all the rears are blacked out. It's actually got the tow bar kit on here. Oh, that's where it goes underneath, you can see there. Just clips into there, very clever. Takes about, once you get used to it, uh, a little bit of getting used to at first, but once you actually get used to it, it takes probably about, probably, sort of two, three minutes to actually fit that. So, uh, this is a interior tour of the car. Um, it was dusk when I did the last video, so I've done an improved one in the actual daylight. <laughs> it's obviously got a folding mirror, um, mirrors on it. So yeah, let's, let's go on the interior properly this time. 
So I've obviously got the rubber mats over protectors, um, which protect the original hard design mats, and underneath that, the, it's just very clean as you can see. There's no stains or anything on the carpets. The seat's in beautiful condition. I really like to look after my cars, so uh, I do use leather cleaner and treatment on um, on the seats. The doors, as you can see, are in beautiful condition. Really, really nice. And um, it's got this satin metal finish. Absolutely beautiful. And I think that's, yeah, that's real metal. So, um, door pocket's nice and clean. Um, the sills are, I've uh, not got any damage on them. Um, as you can see, the leather armrest and uh, the gator and everything's not worn. It's got the beautiful um, see-through uh, gear selector which lights up at the, on the evening. It's got the 12 volt uh, socket in there, so it's a spare wheel. Um, sorry, the uh, locking wheel. Uh, actually, that, that's the key for the um, tow bar as well. You can see, very nice and clean. I always keep my cars really, really clean. I can't emphasise that enough. It's just something I like to do. There's no marks on the dash at all. It's in beautiful condition. This is actually like a design line here. Really, really nice. Um, it's obviously got the R design on the seats as well. You can see no scuffs on the sill either. Okay, let's go to the back. Okay, so uh, I've got this seat a little bit far back, but again, it's uh, got the rubber over mats, and then the R design mats, and the carpets underneath are exceptionally clean. Again, no stains or anything. The seats in the back are almost unmarked. Um, they're in exceptional condition. It's actually got a headrest uh, thing here. You can just press that and you lift the headrest up when you've uh, it's got someone sat in the middle. I'll keep that down so I can see all the back of it easier. But it's got this really cool um, little table for drinks etc and again that's in exceptional condition no marks or scuffs or tears on the leather at all uh, and of course it's got the very rare panoramic sunroof which i absolutely love very very nice i use that all the time um let's have a look yeah again the door no marks on the leather it's got this beautiful metal uh, cup holders nice and clean as well and there are no marks on the the door anywhere it's very very nice let's, let's have a quick look in the boot you can actually open this off the key like I said before it's just part of the pack okay it's a lot better than the last video <laughs> um, so I've got the tow bar which is the hidden detachable one in here the original Volvo one it comes with the cables as well that just goes um, under here you just pull this panel off and it pops in there so I've got the cover on which has protected this really nicely just chuck that out there you go you can see it's in really really nice condition the boot floor there's no stains or anything um, no marks on there anywhere it's got the optional bag holder this is a really cool feature you can put stuff in there it stops it from sliding about uh, let me just hang this up. Sorry for the filming. It's got this area under here you can store a few bits and bobs as well. And, uh, these little secret compartments. And it's got the full uh, set with a um, spare tyre. It's in brand new condition. Full tool kit. Let's put that down. The rear seats fold down all the way. You can see from the back how good the condition is of those as well. No marks or scuffing or anything. Uh, with the, let's just put that back in there. I only tow a very light trailer with 125 motorcycles on. Probably carries about 150 kilograms, not more than that. Let's go around the other side of the car. Packed in a little bit tight, haven't I? So yeah, again, the doors, it's just leather, is beautiful. Very, very clean, no marks at all on it. No marks on the plastic. And um, 
again no scuffs on the sill or anything as you can see just very clean there's only the only mark on any of the door cards is this little section here unfortunately i think someone's trapped a seat belt in this and then trapped it against it uh, but that is the only mark it's not too noticeable really again the seat very clean leather and the bolster's barely worn um, no cracks in the seat at all very very clean I'll come back to that in a minute I'll show you the other side again door panel very very tidy lovely clean leather no scuffs scratches or anything on any of the metal or the buttons are all in the exact same condition as that no scuffing on the on the sill no rust obviously again carpet and then the artisan carpet and then underneath super clean back of the seats there's no marks or scuffs or anything on these I love these headdress design it's so beautiful it's such good thought put into it again no marks or tearing or anything on the leather Hey, let's go in the front of the car now. Again, I've got the artisan mat underneath the rubber mat and below the floor as well, you can see, is in just perfect condition almost. Uh, let's go ahead and get in it. I've not, I've not got any pets uh, and also the, uh, there's no, I've not, I don't smoke, so no smoke or anything. So, steering wheel's in really, really, really nice condition. No wear on it at all. It's just beautiful. This is the Ardizan steering wheel. So, um, and it's a little bit thicker, I think, than the traditional one, maybe. Um, you see the mileage, 99342. Uh, all this centre section is unmarked. No scuffing or scratches or anything. Let's go ahead and start it. This is from Completely Cold, by the way. So, yeah. That's the first time I've started it uh, in two days. So, um, if you've read the advert, these are all optional. It's got every single one. Um, so, downhill descent. Uh, it's got the... Um, like line keep assist sort of thing that warns you it's got the the uh, bliss system and the sort of city safe or whatever it's called all the air conditioning works absolutely perfectly let's put that turn on actually so we've got ac works you can see it come up on there defroster we've got recirculate reheat windscreen um, we can put it to automatic as well and there uh, all this comes up on the screen and then got this my car system which shows everything shows all these are all optional this is all optional stuff so very very cool indeed uh, it shows you trip statistics um, it shows you these port systems that's when you start driving they activate and you've just got all there's got so many options i love going through these when i first get the car and just set everything up so obviously got the sat nav which is um it's always up to date with the traffic as well which is really cool it's their lifetime map updates for free it's got all of europe as well as great britain and the map system the, the satellite navigation is really really good on this um, really easy to use and great directions. It's obviously got let's all that again. It's got all of these Bluetooth, etc. Um, I think that's about everything. This this screen can play DVDs apparently as well. It's got front and rear cameras, so there's your front cameras, which is rare, and then your rear camera, um, which you can also zoom in as well, which is really clever. Um, it's obviously got your telephone this looks complex but it's actually not it's just your telephone buttons and stuff all the heating works as you can see it's a fantastic system uh heated seats they all work 
really nice toasty warm seats. This is obviously the menu for the um, adaptive cruise control. You can actually adapt the distance as well between you and the car in front, um, depending on how far you are wanting to sit away from that. Does it automatically, as I've explained in the uh, driving video, which is at the end of this one. Um, and every, everything obviously works. It's These are all your options really really nice system and obviously you've just got all these this side the buttons you can see they're in perfect condition so um, please have a look at the amount of options it's got 10,200 10,200 pounds worth of options if you look in the advert it's well worth for those and those it's probably one of the highest spec cars out there obviously I've got all the books and the original folder I'll put a photograph of everything in this book it's got literally all the paperwork um, everything you can imagine it's got the pole star certificate for the tube as well I love how big the, the box is on this as well <laughs> it's huge let's see it's got that. Uh, USB and auxiliary parts as well and um, obviously it's got the I love this, this is very rare to have this on. You can just open it that way as well. And um, yeah, I love this. Uh, it's su such a good feature to have. It makes the interior so much lighter. They're all beautifully clean as well, as you can see. And I do tend to have that open quite a lot when it's warmer. Um, I think that's about everything but, that I've shown you, but um, I'll just give it a quick rev. You'll see in the driving video how nice it is, but there's no smoke or anything at all. Um, let's just have a look at that. There we go. Let's just have a look out the door and I'll give it a rev while I'm... Um, so you can see there's no smoke whatsoever. smoke you'd see it. So, yeah right um hope you enjoyed this video if you've got any questions at all please please ask and i'll be happy to answer those thank you hi uh this is a, a quick drive of the my xc60 it's obviously a 2013 car this is the slightly updated um version which has got the uh, newer center console and also the it's up, uprated engine as well. It was about 8% better fuel economy and uh, slightly more power. It's also got the Polestar tune on it, which gives it around 15 horsepower more and about 40 foot pound of torque, something like that. But uh, if you don't know anything about Polestar, it's the official tuning arm of Volvo. It's the factory option, uh, so it's completely safe and insurance approved. And um, it just gives you the balance of uh, a bit more torque for overtaking speeds and it also doesn't affect the fuel economy if anything it might be a little bit better on fuel economy uh, and Polestar say it doesn't affect it so I've got the certificate and everything for that so this is obviously the D5 uh, engine let's actually set off now so it's got the reverse camera as you can see it's got front and rear cameras you might be able to see on there actually as you can see, uh, both front cameras come up on that, and um, obviously reverse camera. So this is the D5, which is a five-cylinder twin-turbo diesel, 2.4 litre, extremely uh, reliable engine, very strong, very powerful, um, very torquey, and this is... Um, a lot of in-gear torque on this thing you know, it's sort of uh, when I say in-gear I mean is rolling acceleration not 60 is good but who cares really about not 60 yeah, at the end of the day it's rolling acceleration you don't you know do traffic like not 60 on this thing so the, the only reason I'm selling this really is I'm getting another Volvo a Volvo V60 estate um, because I'm getting a plug-in hybrid version which is fancy I mean I'm 
play with plug-in hybrid really so um, I wouldn't be selling it if it wasn't for that it's an absolutely lovely car I tow a small trailer which is just motorbikes flight motorbikes um, that's what I do for a living so I use motorbikes so the uh, just a small trailer the trailer weighs about 40 kilograms and the bike average weighs 120 kilograms so it's you don't even notice it on the back there's that much torque from this thing so it's got the automatic gearbox in the car which is a geartronic six speed automatic gearbox and it's very smooth slick gearbox um, very nice sounding engine actually the five cylinder a lot of people say the same thing it's not noisy it's just very smooth on the motorway you barely notice it Sorry if there's a little bit of rattle in my camera mount, isn't it? Expen it's not an expensive one, so hence the uh, rattling noise. That demonstrates well, actually, the sort of city safety feature of it. Um, when there's an object in the way, a large object, in that case it was cones I was going around, that was warning me that there was a... Uh, an object coming up that was just still and it would have braked if I'd have, if, um, if I'd have actually gone towards the object and not just gone around it, it would have braked hard for me. This car's also got the, it's got every option on which is, for me I looked for a long time before choosing this car, it was important that I, um, that I got all the options I wanted and I have. So it's got all the, actually, if you actually have a look in the advert, it's it's around £10,200 worth of options, slightly right over. But, um, let's hang back from these cars and do a sort of 30 to see how oh, we can actually see if road works. A brief acceleration, 30. That wasn't in sports mode, that was up to nearly 60 miles an hour. Um, that wasn't in sports mode, and my foot was only about halfway down. Extremely um, torquey engine, sounds lovely, no hesitation, it's got the twin turbo, so it's one spools up first, save turbo lock. Let's hang back from this car and just do another quick run. So I'll, I'll drop down to 35, let's put it in sports mode actually, I rarely use it, but here we go, 35. 60. <laughs> this thing is very quick indeed. Okay, so this is the R Design model. The R Design model, actually, uh, as well as sort of exterior trim, comes with a thicker, sportier steering wheel, an R Design steering wheel, and it also the chassis is improved um, for handling. Okay, this, it, yeah, you know, you don't buy an XC60 handling, I recognise that. And really, I wasn't too bothered about the R Design, but uh, when I was looking for the car. Um, but basically, I bought the R Design because uh, it had all, this particular model had all the features on. I'll list them again. It's, uh, everything's in the, the uh, advert. So, the R Design has uh, about 10 cents stiffer, 10 or 15 cents stiffer um, suspension. The steering has got a unique steering uh, control, steering box, so basically the steering's a, uh, a little bit uh, more on the weightier side for more handling, but it's, it feels really light. Don't worry about that, it's just the, the handling speeds. Well, this is just an extremely nice car to drive. On a motorway, it's very quiet. I get about 42 to 44 miles to the gallon, depending on obviously how you drive, uh, road conditions, wind speed, etc. But yeah, I get about 42 to 44 miles to the gallon, 38 on average. And um, I just love the way it drives. It's so talking powerful. I'd have another XC60 from this area in a heartbeat. It's just beautiful. This this one um, has got full Volvo service history. 
I'm literally about to have it in service tomorrow, which will be a full service at a local garage that I trust. It costs about £500, it's having the cam belt or timing belt kit done at the same time. It's got uh, tyres with about 80% tread, the all season on the rear. Uh, Scorpion, Pirelli Scorpion, Pirelli Scorpion winds tyres on the front. You can use them through summer as well, that's not an issue. So I just, uh, this car is so comfortable though. I, I do, with my delivering bikes, uh, you go about an hour and a half really maximum each way. So uh, it does a lot of uh, sort of motorway trips, uh, you know, the DPF isn't getting clogged or anything. I like to take it on dual carriageways often. I don't just do little round town trips uh, all the time. So it's, it makes sure it's well run, you know. Um, but one of the, my favorite features on it it makes life so much easier when driving is the adaptive cruise control. Uh, I'd be very hard pushed to go back to a car without it now. What it does is you just set your speed at 60, 70 miles an hour and it keeps up with the traffic in front. Whatever speed you set it to, it will keep up with the traffic. So it slows down automatically and speeds back up automatically when the car in front does. If you go, so if you indicate and start pulling out, the car recognises you're pulling out and it will actually speed up straight away for you to overtake very very clever system the braking on it uh, the automatic braking when you are slowing down even down to you know in city traffic you can use the system as well and it is really really impressive it's so smooth there's absolutely uh, no negative points with this drive of this car at all I'm selling it's there's no um, bad sort of uh, mechanical noises there's, I'm having the front brakes pads replaced tomorrow but there's no noise of anything mechanical there's no bearing noise there's no there's no uh, brake noise and squeaking there's no suspension noise nothing at all it just the rattling you hear is probably off my camera mount um, it's just an absolutely wonderful vehicle very luxurious it's easily it's way better than an XC uh, like an X5 BMW X5 or a sort of Mercedes ML that just blows them into the weeds for the same era you know it's just a fantastic car I'm so impressed with this thing. I'm sorry I can't go on a more of a 60 mile an hour, 70 mile an hour run. Um, we'll just let it wash, so I don't want to do that. <laughs> I want to keep it nice and clean for the photographs. But um, you could see from that 60 run earlier, you know, it gets up to speed really quickly. Um, no hesitation whatsoever. It's been so well maintained, I've got all the history which is on the advert, as I say I'm having the big service done tomorrow just before I get sold, um, but the interior is that I'm not, I'm not a smoker, I don't have pets, and it looks like from the history of it it was a company car um, for someone at Volvo, um, it says on paperwork it's a Volvo employee scheme car, so I'm guessing management. As you can hear, you can't actually hear it changing gears, um, so there's no real uh, drop in uh, torque um, or the engine noise when it changes gears, it just does it very fluidly. And it's got a sort of manual change as well, you can click that over into manual, which is also sports mode, and um, it just changes really nicely. But th this car is very, very uh, tight feeling mechanically there's just nothing at all that needs to do into it for drive wise it, it's the best car I've had and I've had, I've had probably about 15 cars now all sorts um, some of my favourite car are Lexus it's definitely on a par build quality wise and material quality wise with Lexus that's for sure Again, this is a very rare spec, it's got literally everything, if you read the advert, this is an incredibly high spec. It's the R design, but they have ticked nearly every option uh, pack on it. There's only one option pack it's not got, and that's to do with the rear ent that's entertainment pack, which is 
for the rear speakers sorry the rear TVs and the rear um, but aside from that it's got everything there's only two or three for sale in this pack and this one particular car is in like full Volvo service history it's it's been really well looked after right we'll go let's do a little bit of that acceleration spot here 25 to 40 <laughs> By the time I'd accelerated, it was nearly at 40 anyway. Again, sorry for the rattling if that has been picked up. You can see how tight the steering is. Let's put it into manual. There you go. Third, fourth. Just drop it back down into second, coming up to the roundabout. I only use manual gear changes for if I've got a trailer on the back and I'm coming down a steep hill. But let's do it at slow speeds. I'm in second now, manual. Going to third. It's very, very slick. Zero hesitation. It goes in straight away whether you're going up or down the gears. And unlike a lot of cars, it actually allows you to change down gears, even if the revs are higher. Um, which I've had some over nannying gearboxes in cars in the past, and they've not allowed you to change down until a certain RPM, but this one does which is uh, really nice just gives it a little bit more sporty edge but uh, actually let's show you the there you go i've put the um cruise control on now which obviously does everything it's itself so it's actually applied the brakes i felt them apply when i want to get going again i just push this button here and that will allow the car to set off on its own let's do it now there you go. So I'm not touching the brake, sorry, the accelerator or anything. And you'll see when I follow these cars in front. I'm actually slowed it on for this car now. Let's follow that car there. Okay, so I've got the speed deliberately high. I've got it set at 40, but we're actually doing 30. Um, 30. So that's what the car in front's doing. Uh, slowing down now is indicating there you go we slowed nearly to a stop just then now the car will just go again on its own that's the adaptive it's amazing on a on a run it saves you a lot of sort of stress just drop that back down to 30 uh, and if a car pulled out in front the car would brake really hard it'd probably react quicker than i could obviously you got a, it's not a self-driving so you don't you can't you know you can't just let it run round town and expect it to drive round corners and stuff. Um, it's not like that, it's nothing to do with the steering, it's just the acceleration braking, but very, very nice overall. Um, but this is a fantastic car, it's permanent all wheel drive as well, and it's the really, really, uh, it's a really, really good for an all-wheel drive system. The Volvo four-wheel drive system is second to none. I'd rate it on a par with Subaru's system, which is probably the best, and, and Audi's Quattro system. So, uh, in winter, this car is just, especially with these all-season uh, winter tyres on there, it's just really, really good. So I hope you've, I've given you a really sort of good idea of how this car drives. Um, accelerates, brakes, and um, I hope I've given you a really good idea of just how well it drives. I'm sorry I couldn't do more sort of 60 mile an hour runs in it and 70 mile an hour, but I can, if you want to come and have a look at the car, I can drive the car obviously for insurance purposes, but I can take you on to 60 and 70 miles an hour limits to show you the everything. No smoke at all and start up, it's a very clean running diesel engine and um, hugely impressive overall let's just pull over here to finish the video thanks very much for watching and um, message me any questions at all about the car i'm happy to answer those and thanks for watching